Hello everyone, this is Anthony with Diesel Laptops and today I want us to take a look at our brand new diesel handheld scanner. This tool is going to give the technicians um, a quick way to connect, uh, read fault codes, live parameters, and even region, uh, perform regions on certain vehicles. Um, we're going to start off, I'm going to open up the case, kind of show you what comes with it. Take a look at that. Um, once we open the case here, the first thing you're going to see is our user manual. Um, this is going to give you any information that you need on how to use the tool, uh, what all the different buttons do, things like that. Um, the next thing is going to be the actual scanner. Um, you'll actually plug your different cables into the scanner once you're going to connect to the truck that we'll show you later. <clears throat> It'll come with an OBD2 connector. Okay. Um, this is going to plug into any OBD2 truck um, or connection on a truck. Um, it's also going to be where you plug your your nine pin um, and your other cables uh, in for the scanner. Um, next, we do have a uh, six pin, a nine pin, and a cat nine pin connector that all come with the kit. Okay. You'll also receive a USB uh, cord here. This is going to allow you to connect the scanner to uh, a laptop or, or something like that when you need to do updates or pull things off of the memory stick. And we also have a little memory card adapter here. So what this will do is allow you to pull the memory card out, stick it in here, and then plug it into a USB drive to check out the memory um, on the scanner that way. All right, now um, we're gonna go down and connect to a few vehicles and I'll show you guys how to use the tool. Okay, we've got our handheld here. And for this application, we're going to need our OBD2 cable and our nine pin cable. All right, so the first time you're going to use this tool, we're gonna to need to peel off our protective film here. And that'll show us the screen where we're gonna get all of our, our readings and uh, menu options. Okay, what we're gonna to need to do is first plug our OBD2 connector into the top of the tool. All right. Screw that on. Then, we look at our OBD2, we'll take our 9 pin, connect it to our OBD2 cable. It's a little bit of a tight fit. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and plug into the vehicle. As you can see, the handheld will start to power on. And it'll bring us to our main menu. From this point, we can go ahead and switch the key on. And we'll go ahead and select the HD OBD slash EOBD selection. This is where you're gonna to go to find all your live parameters. Um, what it'll do is, uh, first it'll ask you for a system scan. Um, you can either do a manual selection or an automated, automated scan. Um, in this case, we're going to use the HD OBD protocol here because it is a nine pin. And here you go, the automatic search. And it will go ahead and do the system scan. Now this will take anywhere from 45 seconds to 60 seconds, just depending on what you're connected to. Okay, and once we connect to all the modules here, you can make your selections on those particular modules. Um, in this case, we'll just go to the engine. This is a 2015 Volvo with a Cummins ISX. Get in there and we have our system information. Um, we can go down and read our codes here. Uh, we also have our clear codes tab and our data stream. Okay, once we enter the data stream menu, um, we can, it's broken up into groups. We can then select our after treatment here. And what that'll do is pull up a menu where we could go in and manu manually select any of the parameters we wanna see. Um, it also gives us an option to see everything. So we're gonna go ahead and click the all data stream. And then uh, this is gonna be a little weird, but then you'll hit the back button to actually back out for it to pull up the data. 
Um, uh, notice at the bottom here, it gives you one through seven parameters. So it's important to note that these are not pages, so it's not seven pages of parameters, it's actually seven parameters. And then if there were more, you would use your arrow key to cycle through the pages to see. All right. Um, this works exactly the same going through any of the other modules. Um, so if we were to want to go into the brake system, instrument panel, things like that, it works all completely the same. Now we'll back out and give you guys an idea on the regen process, okay? So from the main menu here, um, the only difference is we're gonna move over and select the DPF regen. And that's gonna bring up all of the different manufacturers that the tool is capable of performing a regeneration on. Um, in this case, uh, we're gonna select Cummins because the engine is a Cummins engine. Um, if we were working on a Volvo with a D13 per, per se, you would actually go down and select the Volvo. Um, but in this case, we'll select Cummins. The system automatic. And this is basically just the tool connecting to the engine control module by itself. Okay, and as you can see, it pulls up an ISX, uh, ISX 15, CM2350, hit okay. Our actuation test. And that's the diesel particulate filter regeneration there. So we can go ahead and start the engine. Okay, once the engine gets started, you can then select the diesel particulate filter region option. Um, it's going to pop up a screen that's going to give you your your preconditions and whatnot. Then you can select OK to move on to the next screen. You'll get a data stream page. And from here, to start the region, all you'll need to do is click the F2 button. Once you press the button, the region will start. It will run automatically. But if at any time you would like to stop the region for whatever reason, you can just click the F3 button and the region will start or stop. And then from here, if you want to back out, you select the F1 button and it'll take you out of this page and then you can back all the way back out. Okay, this is gonna do it for the diesel handheld. For more information on this product, visit us at diesellaptops.com.